Hello, Girl Scout families. Today, we're gonna to be making a traditional sit-upon that we use in Girl Scouts. I made one when I was a brownie many, 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 many years ago. Um, and we're just gonna be using a couple things that you can get really easily. We're going to be using a vinyl bag or any kind of plastic coated shopping bag. You don't wanna use fabric because fabric can get wet. Um, fiber fill and some duct tape. And that's really all you need. The end product will look something like this. This one has its own handle made with duct tape. So if your girls get crafty, they can do that. Or this is another option that's several years old that we did just taped around the edges with the original bag handles left out. All right, so the first step in any of these set upon makings is taping the edges of the bag. So don't do the fiber fill first because that will leave you with a huge mess and make taping impossible, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to use our duct tape and tape around the edges. So we'll set the fiber fill aside for now. Okay, so many of these bags have gussets. So gussets are just folds on the side that allow you to have more open space. We don't want them for our sit upon. So we're going to be taping around the edges, all the way around and leaving the top open for now. Okay, so you can just take any duct tape and we will see how skilled I am at this. Taping, giving it a rough measurement, it doesn't have to be perfect because you can always go over with more tape if you need to cover it. But this first round, oh no, and look at that. All right, so the first round is not perfect, but you can see, well, we're taping it so we can fold it about halfway over. Even though this piece is a little messed up, we'll just fold it over. Then what we do is we just flip it and we fold the rest over on this side, giving us a very, very nice, cute seam. Okay, now we do the bottom. Remember, the gussets stay inside. There we go. Okay, and we just tape along here. I made this piece a little too short, but we'll come back and do a pretty layer next round. All right, and flip this over. Okay, and then we will do this last side here. And again, depending on how crafty you are, you can make designs, you can make the corners look neat, whatever you need to do. I've made these for several years with my Girl Scouts and they always work really well. They keep our bottoms dry when we're using them to sit in the grass or around the campfire. All right here, I'll just make a little tear. Tuck that in. All right, we'll fold this over. Okay. So there, I've got a good secure seam all the way around. And that's all I need for now. That just gives us what we need to keep it from gussing. I may have to fix that, fix that little corner. All right, take that there, fix that. Okay, so everything's secure all the way around. And now we start to fill it with fluff. So before we do that, um, using the handles is totally optional. You can make your own duct tape handles if you want. I like to use the bag handles. It makes it a little bit easier. So now we just start to fill it with fluff. All right. So you wanna use a good amount of stuffing. And if you don't have fiber fill or you don't wanna use it, you can also recycle and use old crumbled up newspaper. That's what we did when I was little. But you can use other things as well. You can use bags, you guys wanna recycle. How 
whatever you want to do it. Okay. So you don't want to fill it too full. And you can always test it just by holding down this seam and then just press down. You know, would that be comfortable for you to sit on? And remember, it's not a pillow, although I do have to admit I have used mine as a pillow before when I forgot my pillow for camping. All right. And when we get a good amount in there, we can just check and see. And remember, as you're stuffing, just to kind of pull apart the fiber fill to make it nice and fluffy. And I'll add a little bit more. Fiber fill is just fun. Okay, so I've got mine about to where I want it to be, okay? So what we're gonna do is work on the top. This is kind of difficult. It does work really well if you do use it, um, if you do use two people for this. If you're doing it by yourself, you can make it work. It might just be a little bit more difficult. So now we're gonna use a couple smaller pieces and I'm going to utilize the handles here that were already on the bag just to make it easier. Okay. So I'm going to leave my handles out, make sure they're both out, both sides. Okay. All right, now we're going to start with the top. What I like to do is kind of push it up here, push it over to the side, and then pinch one side together, okay? I'm gonna leave my handles out for this one. Again, I showed you some of the other options earlier in the video. So once I push it to the side, I kind of pinch the corner together, and I take a piece of tape, and again, this part doesn't have to be pretty. You can always go over it with a final layer later on. I'm just pinching hard. I fold the tape over the top so it holds it really well. I like to rip the tape a little bit here, fold it over, fold this one around, just to give you a nice little corner. And then I do the same thing over on this side here. I just push my stuffing to the side, fold this closed, and then Use a piece of tape, get it on there, and fold it over. Sometimes it does help if you have another person, but you can definitely do it by yourself without a problem. All right, just fold it over there. Okay, now we've come to the middle, okay? I don't like these tabs, so I tuck mine in. Again, we're just leaving the handles out, trying not to tape over these handles. We're using these handles. And then we're just gonna put a piece of tape in the middle, right over that open section. This part's a little hard, but you can always have someone help you or use a small piece of tape just to get it started so it sticks. And then pull a nice piece of tape over later. All right, there you go, fold it over, okay. So now you're pretty much full. All right, totally complete. There you go. Okay, so there is space for air to let out. So when you squish it, you can compact it pretty well. It fits really well in your camping bag. So this is your basic finished product all the way around, tops, tapes. Now you can get creative. You can go back. Make all of your seams nice, like put another layer of tape here, here, and so on. I've had some families and some girls cover the whole bag, the whole thing with um, duct tape. Uh, some put their initials, and others who don't like these fabric straps hanging out, they go through and make a, an entire new handle out of duct tape. So, be creative, feel free to do whatever you like, and of course, have fun with your creation. I can't wait to see these at camp.